All right, time now for three brilliant minutes with Brad, and we're leaving our planet, apparently. We are. We have some space updates, and you know what's up first? News from Mars. Ah, I didn't know there was a station on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some little robots on Mars, one of which is Ingenuity, the Mars helicopter. We haven't talked about it for months, and you know why? Something wrong? It's been silent. Oh, really? It finally phoned home, though, after 63 days of silence, okay? Its last transmission was on April 26th at the very end of its 52nd flight. I know that 63 days sounds like a long time, but NASA wasn't really too worried because they knew what had probably happened. The rover communicates with the helicopter, okay? Right. It's, it's two-way communication. It has to be within line of sight. They have to physically be able to see each other for that communication to work. And as the helicopter was landing on April 26, it went down into a little hole. gully. <laughs> so they couldn't see each other, so they had to wait till the rover was a little bit closer. And now that it's closer, all is well, okay? Oh. But I'm sure there were a few skipped heartbeats at NASA for a little bit there, right? I wanted to show you some unusual pictures, and these are just uh, less than two weeks old, as a matter of fact. These are from the Perseverance rover, mm. this donut-shaped rock on Mars. That's really weird. They're saying, or what they think, is that it was probably a uh, less dense material in the center that over time eroded from wind or maybe ancient waters in the past. So that's how that formed. Got another one for you. Similar theme, this hollowed out rock. Again, you can see the holes oh, yeah, in it. A little that. unusual looking. And there's one other where there's this indentation. In fact, I was wondering, that almost looks like maybe that piece. fits in there. <laughs> I'm not real sure. If you're wondering yeah. where these two things are, remember that these have been on Mars for a couple of years now. They landed in Jezero Crater, which is over on the essentially lower right-hand portion of your screen. I can get you in here a little bit closer because you'll be able to see where they've gone and where they are now. In fact, you can see the little blue uh, icon show you which is the helicopter and which is the rover and this is where the pictures you just saw essentially came from okay uh -huh. so I have some other things for you these are orbits of potentially hazardous asteroids potentially hazardous looks like there's a bunch of them right the Sun is way in the center this is where the Earth's orbit is they all kind of, yeah, it doesn't leave you feeling very well, like does it? By the way, fishing yeah, now those are potentially hazardous ones. These are not, but every couple of days, something is very nearby. This one was today house size. This one is on the fifth building size and airplane size one on the sixth. So this is just something that NASA <laughs> keeps track of. And you can go to the JPL website and see every couple of days. Again, there's something uh, passing very nearby <laughs> our planet. And uh, something else you probably noticed last night, the full moon, which technically was full at 639 this morning. So last night it looked like it was full. Tonight it will still look like it's, it's full. So you'll really be able to enjoy it. We had beautiful weather last night. We will again tonight. Uh, I wanted to mention, though, upcoming in August, two full moons. One on the first and a blue moon on the 31st. And all of these are super moons when the moon is a little bit closer to the Earth. So typically it's a little bit bigger and brighter. So a lot of full moon action this month and next month, okay? <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. <laughs>